Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Savannah. For those of you who don't know who I am, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. Both of my stores will be down below in the description. But today I have one of my maybe best ever Goodwill outlet hauls. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. This is my dog Ruger. He will be doing this throughout the video because he cannot relax. <laughs> But today, I have one of my craziest Goodwill outlet hauls ever. Some of these brands I've never dreamed of, well, I have dreamed about them multiple times, but never thought I would actually be touching them in my own hands, let alone thrifting them for $1.29 a pound. Um, sorry if the lighting's a little weird, the sun's like setting, it's, uh... It's about to be nighttime. So hopefully I can get through all this before it gets dark because we're about to list it tonight and I just wanted to share everything exciting I got with you. Um, I'll try and like sprinkle the exciting pieces throughout the video but in reality I found all of them in one bin in a giant stack in the hard goods section of the Goodwill outlet and I was shaking. <laughs> You'll see why. Okay let's get into it. <laughs> Um, so everything I found was $1.29 a pound. Uh, this is all from two trips on two separate days. Oh man, I know I have over 100 pounds, but I don't know exactly how much I paid because I checked out a couple different times because some of this stuff is so good, I didn't trust leaving it in my cart. So I checked out with it and then went back in. Anyways, $1.29 a pound for everything. Let's get into it. Sorry for the long intro. Um, okay, first we have this Miss Jolie London adorable sweater. Obviously the print stood out to me. Um, and this brand looked like it did pretty well. You probably get about $40 for this. Super soft. This is a cabbie green floral sleeveless blouse with a little peplum hem. Um, I'll probably get like $20 for this, but... We like the newer tag cabbie. It does, does okay. <laughs> Some pieces do really well, but that should do, should do okay. Um, this is a Bowden. I think it's like a little lemon print. Looks like little lemon trees, um, but it's really cute. Just a little sweatshirt. It's a size US eight, and I'll probably price this for like twenty to twenty five. This is a brand that's sometimes sold at Anthro. It's left of center. And this is just a cute neon cold shoulder blouse. Nothing crazy. I'll probably get like $15 for it. This is an Anthropology Akimi and Kin. Little floral sleeveless blue top probably get like 15 to 20 dollars for it it's pretty basic some pieces do better but that one's pretty simple okay i'm gonna start showing you some of the exciting stuff i found Ooh. it's all exciting because it's all gonna make me money but this stuff it's gonna make me really good money and i've never found any of it before so this is uh carter it's actually carter smith shibori and it's this silk gorgeous tunic and some of these are selling for like three to four hundred dollars yes I couldn't believe it either um, and this is so lightweight it probably cost me under a, well no definitely under a dollar but like maybe even under 50 cents it's that light because it's 100% silk Ugh, yeah so that was a really exciting find if you ever see this um, grab it really quickly plus I would have looked at this anyways even if it wasn't silk just look at the print it's so cool and there's a couple more pieces that have that exact print that you'll see later in the haul this is a pair of men's Hugo Boss dress pants um, pretty basic but they are expensive retail and I get about like 20 to 25 for them the newer styles do a little bit better but this is a White House Black Market little zip up blazer and I have sold this exact style but it was I think black. I love this color. It's like a mauvey pink. 
the size too. And I'll probably list it at about 30. I got a lot of Bowden pieces. This is just a little polka dot, um, like tunic dress. It's a size 10 long. And I'll probably get like $20. This is an Ellie Tahari silk short sleeve blazer. I just really like the print on it. It feels a really high quality and Ellie Tahari or I don't know if I'm saying that right. No, I think it's Ellie. Um, it is the higher end line of Tahari. So I don't know. I thought I'd give it a shot. It's a pretty piece. And a lot of the pieces I found had these little pieces of tape on them, which stood out to me because when I've bought liquidation lots in the past, they had these pieces of tape for like little flaws. So like that indicated this little loose thread. So I'm wondering if some of this came maybe from a liquidation. It feels like it was new um, just with that little defect. So I don't know, but that was interesting to me. Um, this is a Diletta Anthropology ruffly maroon sleeveless blouse um, size medium and I'll probably price it at like $20 this dress is gorgeous and I actually debated wearing it to posh fest which I guess this is a good time to say I will be at posh fest so if any of you are attending I would love to meet you so say hi to me if you see me there don't be shy I promise I'm friendly <laughs> this is uh, Catherine Malandrino size 12 100% silk gorgeous dress and I recently shopped at a Saks off fifth that was closing near me and they actually have some expensive Catherine Malandrino pieces which I thought most of all of her stuff was uh, lower end or like on QVC um, but I don't know this piece is gorgeous I would have gotten it even if it was like a QVC polyester piece but it's 100% silk so I think I will do well after I wear it maybe I might wear it to posh fest I don't know um, this is a mark by Mark Jacobs size medium little Swiss dot tank super basic I'll probably get like 15 to 20 bucks but it is a more expensive brand so I grabbed it this is a pair of Fly London shoes. I only got two pairs of shoes in the two days that I was at the Goodwill outlet. So both trips, I only got two pairs of shoes. So it really was just a good clothing day, which I am not complaining, but um, this is one of the only pairs of shoes I got. And they're adorable. They're size 38, just little Fly London wedges. I should probably get about 35 to 40 for these. Okay, another really exciting piece. Somebody toss this back. Whew. It is a Como de Garcon. If you'll be able to see that. I don't know if this is a skirt or if it's like a shrug that like goes over your um, shoulders. But it is 100% wool. It's very interesting. I do not understand high fashion, but I never in a million years thought I would find this brand and about died when I found it. I have a couple more pieces that you'll see in this haul that I found first. This is just one that someone tossed back, but oh my goodness. Some of these retail for like 900 to $1,000. Now resale is not gonna be near that. I have no idea where to even begin. I never in a million years thought I would find that brand at a good little outlet so that's really exciting um, let's see this is another Bowden dress it is a size 14 just a little printed dress and I'll probably get like 20 bucks for it um, this is a Wallace little linen cardigan and I think this uh, brand is sold at okay now getting into some of the most crazy Goodwill outlet finds 
thought I will probably ever have. This is a Como de Garcon. I don't know if this is a wool shrug or a skirt. I don't know what the heck it is. I just know it's really dang expensive. Do you see this Como de Garcon? Ugh. Oh my God. The retail on this is like 900 to a thousand dollars. And this was in the hard goods. A bin in the hard goods. Just a stack. Then you guys will see more of these pieces, but oh my gosh. I just want to hold it. <sighs> so that was one of the exciting finds. Now some pearl. I, I like showing this after that. I, they're recycling shorts and they all make me money. So I'm excited about them all, but you know, how are you supposed to follow a piece like that? This is a postmark anthropology little striped blouse. And I like the back. It has like an exposed zipper. I'll probably get like 20 to $25 for that. This is really exciting as well. It is a brand that I have found new with tags and it was a new to me brand then. And it sold immediately overnight for like $150. It is white and worn. It is a cashmere travel wrap. It's gray. It has no holes. I checked a zillion times. Um, but these do really well. Even used, I should probably get like $90 to $100, which is spectacular. This was in the stack with all the expensive stuff I found. And I think I might just keep it. When will I ever wear this? I don't know. Look at this sweater. It is hand knit amazingness. It's huge. It's chunky. It probably weighs like four pounds, maybe five, but it's so beautifully made. It has no brand at all. I checked every inch of it, but I just don't care. It is so gorgeous and well made. I could not let it go to a landfill. <laughs> Although if I tossed it back, somebody would have snatched this up in a heartbeat. It is stunning. Look at the knit. Somebody has spent a lot of time and money, just like even the materials to make this. I, yeah, I love it. It's a one of a kind. This is a pair of Free People, new with tags. Free People Intimately. These are the softest pants ever. If they were my size, I would keep them, but they are a medium. They're just this maroon, originally $68, and I'll probably get like $35. This is an Eileen Fisher, size medium, large, little linen shawl, like cardigan. It's very drapey cardigan. Very oversized, like a lot of Eileen stuff is, but... I'll probably price this at about $40. It's a really nice piece. This is a Ted Baker London silk halter. I guess it's kind of a halter dress. And it has this pretty tie back. Uh, it's really cute. I didn't look at it very well for flaws. Now I'm like checking. There is. Oh no, that looks like it's part of the pattern. Like there, it looked like there were some runs in the silk, but that actually appears to be the print, but I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. Um, it's a gorgeous dress, regardless. And I should get probably like 30 to 40 for it. Okay. This is an Icelandic Designs wool women's zip up sweater jacket. I don't find a lot of these anymore. I used to find a lot of them um, when I first started selling and I don't find a lot of them anymore, but I found this one and it should do pretty well for me. Probably like 40 bucks. It has floral embroidery all over it. It's a size medium, super fun. Like Icelandic designs. 
This is a pair of American Eagle boyfriend jeans, super distressed. And I have kind of found the more distressed the better with um, American Eagle jeans. So I should probably get like 20 bucks for these, but they should sell pretty quick. And now that I'm looking at these, that knee is a little, might be a little too distressed. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed those, but we'll see. I'll just note it in the description. This is a Free People New Romantics beaded blouse. Some of the beading is a little bit loose, so I'll note that, but it is gorgeous. So I had to pick it up. It is a size small, but it is a Free People small, so it's pretty much a large. I love Free People sizing, because I can fit into a small. <laughs> what other brands can you say that in? Uh, for me, not many, but Free People is one of them. Uh, this is a Neve Designs little wool pattern sweater. These do really well for me as well. Kind of like Icelandic Designs, they're 100% wool. Um, some of their sweaters look identical to Icelandic Designs, like the little sweater coats, but this one I should probably get like 30 bucks for. Maybe a little bit more, but they do well. This is a Free People um, size medium. It's very old. It says Free People on this little tag, which I don't think I have ever seen. Um, but it's just a little sweatshirt. Um, it probably has shrunk. It says it's a size medium. This does not look like a medium to me, but I will add measurements and maybe get $20. This is an adorable Hatley dinosaur coat. And these do pretty well for me, like 25 to 30 bucks. I could not leave that behind. So cute. Okay, a couple more of my really exciting finds. They're just all sitting in front of me. I'm trying to sprinkle them throughout the hall, but I'm just so excited. I need to share them all with you. Um, this is a Moschino jeans. Incredible, crazy looking skirt. This reminds me of Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake when they had their denim moment. Everyone knows what I'm talking about, right? This is epic. I have no idea how much I'll get for this, but just finding it and the excitement that I got when I found it is, that's enough for me. I could make nothing on it and be satisfied. There's the tag. So yeah, gorgeous piece. Again, sitting in the hard goods in a stack. Another piece in that stack is this stunning silk art to wear coat. And this one thankfully had markings on it. Sorry, I'm not doing it justice, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm assuming handmade. And the brand is Tim Harding and this brand some of these sell for a thousand dollars anywhere from four to a thousand dollars which is nuts but I mean I believe it like this is an amazing very well made piece that again I never thought in a million years I would find at the pens I'm thankful <laughs> seriously um, okay, I'm just gonna show you the exciting pieces because we're losing daylight and I need to get these listed. Um, this is a Izzy Miyake, which again, I have never heard of this brand even, but look at this. Accordion pleat vest. Oh my goodness, it is insane. Like look at that wow <laughs> so it's made in Japan um, it the sizing is weird so I'm gonna have to look into that but oh my goodness this piece is insane all of these pieces are insane I'm like who donates these I will never understand but I am forever grateful, seriously. 
Um, this is another piece of that Carter Smith Shibori, the same exact print. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, I think it's like a tie front blouse. It's really hard to show, but this little piece ties. It's silk. It's super expensive. And I still can't believe it. And another piece, um, which is a matching print, is this little vest. Well, I guess this is kind of a different print. It doesn't have as many colors. It's more just blue and red. The other ones were more multicolored, but still stunning and amazing. This has to be my absolute favorite piece that I found, and this was the first thing I saw. Whoo! And I seriously couldn't breathe. <laughs> it is Como de Garcon. And it is a leather coat. Look at this coat! So the back is knit with like, I'm pretty sure it's wool. Unfortunately, somebody cut out the interior tag. Um, that said the material content. But look at this coat. I cannot believe it. This is maybe one of my favorite pieces I've ever found. Ever. 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 It's so, like I wish you could feel the leather. It's so buttery soft and amazing. And then the back is knit and the sleeves are knit. Um, but the front of the sleeves are leather, so it's kind of like two-tone. Oh! I just want to hug it. <laughs> uh, like, I hope everybody has one of these moments where you find just everything you've ever dreamed of. <laughs> and a bin. I'm really not trying to brag, and I know some people might see it that way, which is unfortunate, but I spend hours upon hours, 12 hours, most days I go to the bins, and a lot of it, it's not amazing. And when you get a moment where you get a bin full of stuff like this, it's just like all of my time and all of my work has been worthwhile, so I'm very thankful. But anyways, okay. I just thought I would address that because I do get comments sometimes where people um, say it feels like I'm bragging and I'm really just trying to teach you these brands but also I do enjoy sharing them with you. It's not every day you find stuff like this at a Goodwill outlet so I don't want you to expect that you're going to roll up to the Goodwill outlet and find this kind of stuff but this has been like two years manifesting <laughs> this. And it's amazing that it finally happened. Um, but this is an APOC, which is also from Izzy Miyake. Um, I don't know what it is. Is it a pair of shorts? Maybe. I think they're supposed to have like that look, but I really don't know what this is. Um, okay. And then, last but certainly not least, I think this is the last exciting piece I have. And then I'm gonna get to listing this stuff because I'm so excited I cannot just leave it here not making me money. I need to get it listed. Um, this is a Como de Garcon Tao, T-A-O, chunky knit sweater. Look at the bottom. It's like tassely and amazing. So cool. So fun. Okay, everyone, that is all I have to share with you today. Thank you for giving me a platform to share something so exciting and one of my best thrifting days ever. So I hope you guys are having an amazing week and an amazing week of sales. And if you're at Posh Fest, I will see you there. Um, I can't wait. Bye, guys.